Octavia Butler. Okay. Octavia was a science fiction writer who is considered one of the most important of her field. And um, I find science fiction writers really interesting because I imagine um, people were probably always telling them to stop daydreaming or and I come back to reality or whatever. But there's often over time, you look at you look at some of these stories. Many of the stories that were written in the past, they they kind of come true on some level. It's like they had a knowledge of what was coming and. I don't know, it's just interesting, especially now as the world just gets stranger and stranger. We almost look at science fiction books as sort of the roadmaps sometimes. Um, maybe we should anyway, I don't know. But uh, there is a bit of like a mystical quality of, of that she had and I tried to paint her that way if you can see. She wore quite loud uh, blouses and all the pictures I was looking at so that kind of brings that in for me too but um, yeah she knew things I think anyway um, her book that well she's written lots of books I happen to have a copy of her most famous one called Kindred and in this one the protagonist is um, a young black feminist from the 70s who ends up time traveling to a plantation in the deep south, south where she is perceived to be a slave and is treated as such and yet her attitudes are from the 1970s <laughs> so it's a really interesting back and forth she goes in and out of these these two worlds and um yeah it's a really good book i highly recommend it i recommend the other books too i haven't read all of them but they're very interesting the ones i've read so um anyway like a little bit about her when she was young she was super super shy and her dad had died when she was eight and her mom was raising her so um she i think went into her imagination a lot to kind of cope with especially with her shyness and her loneliness and she would spend a lot of time in the library reading fairy tales and horse stories and while she was there she discovered these science fiction magazines that were I guess, filled with little um, stories. And that really got her imagination going. And so she started to write little stories. And when she was 12, um, she was watching a show called The Devil Girl from Mars on TV. And she was so disgusted about how bad it was. She said, I could write this better than them. And she proceeded to do that. And so she made a treatment of this show and her movie. And that actually became the basis of um, some of her published work, a series later on, which is kind of interesting. So again, she was, she was ahead. She was ahead of herself. She was ahead of the times. And um, I, I admire that a lot, obviously. My, we always had a lot of science fiction and fantasy around the house. When I was growing up, my mom was a very avid reader of, of this genre. And, um, there's just something i don't know like that that future thinking that i think is really inspiring and i i wish i had more of it myself um not i mean i can think about being in space all the time but i mean thinking about what would happen and i found this amazing note that she wrote um in one of her notebooks and in it, she describes what she sees her future as and all the things that she wrote happened. So it's basically a manifestation list. Um, but I found it so powerful and interesting knowing about her story that I wanted to share it. So I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna read it off my computer here, but um, just bear with me. I wish I could do it in her voice. Uh, here we go. Okay, so this is all handwritten. I shall be a best-selling writer. Each of my books will be on the bestseller list of the LA Times, New York Times, Washington Post, etc. My novels will go on to the above list whether publishers push them hard or not, whether I'm paid a high advance or not, whether I even whether I ever win another award or not. This is my life. I write best-selling novels. My novels go onto the bestseller lists on or shortly after publication. My novels each travel up to the top of the bestseller lists as they reach the top, 
and they stay on top for months. Each of my novels does this. So be it, I will find a way to do this. See to it, so be it, see to it. My books will be read by millions of people. I will buy a beautiful home in an excellent neighborhood. I will send poor black youngsters to Clarion or other writers workshops. I will help poor black youngsters broaden their horizons. And she did that. I will help poor black youngsters go to college. I will get the best of health care for my mother and myself. I will hire a car whenever I want or need to. I will travel whenever and wherever in the world that I choose. My books will be read by millions of people. And so be it, see to it. So inspiring, so inspiring how she used her mind not just to tell stories, but to, to create her own future. So um, yeah, one more time. <laughs> Octavia Butler, check out her writing. She was amazing.